Welcome to my video series on getting into different types of flying on a budget. In this series I'm covering everything from the super cheap to the expensive. No matter your budget there is a way to live that childhood dream of becoming a pilot and flying. So check out my Facebook group for further flying and cost saving discussions. This video is about gliders, also known as sailplanes. This is a very popular way to start flying due to their similarity to light aircraft but cheap costs. You don't have to pay for fuel for example which is always a bonus. This is where I started and I do love the reclined seating position, bubble canopy and tranquil nature of gliding. They can even do a few manoeuvres. Like Maverick I was inverted and I did a 360 loop in one. It's easy to see why so many people fall in love with sailplanes. So sailplanes, what are they and what can they do? Well it's a long winged plane basically without a motor. Unless it has a motor then it is a motor glider. Also known as sailplanes they are lightweight streamlined aircraft that have very long wings with an aspect ratio of 6 to 1 or more. They are launched via a winch that can take them to a thousand feet or even some can go up to 2000 feet or they are tugged by another aircraft as high as needed. So the aim of gliding basically is to soar from thermal to thermal using your knowledge of meteorology to find lift to get to your destination. You can also find lift from ridge or hill lift or mountain waves. They can also perform some aerobatics. They are very smooth and quiet in the air due to the lack of uh, an engine. Motor gliders however they can climb on their own power of course and are very fuel efficient. Once at the desired altitude you can turn the motor off and then you are essentially a glider. This is the best of both worlds but motor gliders do require a license conversion. So let's look at training. In the UK you can work your way to a sailplane pilot's license. Firstly you'll do loads of practice landings before going solo. Then you'll proceed to get your bronze cross country endorsements to get your SPL which is a sailplane license which is recognised anywhere in the world. You'll probably need 15 hours minimum to get this and you can also glide with a light aircraft pilot's license also known as a LAPL with a sailplane endorsement. Licenses are a bit complicated especially here in the UK. I'm making specific videos about them, more details and for my other videos see the links in the description of this video. In the USA I believe you'll need a light sports license uh, to do flying or gliding. More on that when I cover micro lights and costs further in this video. It's an affordable way to take to the air. It's how I started in my early 20s at my local club and the costs are well it was £330 per year or a £90 per year for a junior membership and then the winch launches are as little as £9 per winch launch and aero tows £34 per aero tow. Glider rental is just 40p per minute and we get the instruction free. To get to your 15 hours though you would think it would be super cheap however the first lessons that you'll be doing will mostly be landing practice so you'll be going up on a winch to a thousand feet and then you're just going to go into the circuit and come back down it's going to take you about 10 minutes before you go up again. Therefore the early lessons are about £13 for the winch launch and the glider rental per 10 minutes. Still that works out a lot cheaper than other forms of flying overall. In the US it costs probably uh, quite a bit more. From my research anyway it seems that it's going to cost about 6,000 US dollars to get a license to fly a glider in the USA and this covers for paying the instructors. Instructors charge anywhere between 50 to 70 dollars per hour. There's a written exam 150 US dollars and renting gliders cost about 60 dollars an hour as well. But flying club discounts can bring that down to up to 20 to 40 US dollars per hour and don't forget the 15 dollar winch launch or 45 dollar aero tow. Once you're qualified though you'll be flying for hours on end without having to use fuel. When you want to purchase a sailplane uh, they can be as actually quite expensive as much as 100,000 US dollars or more but most new factory built ones are around 50,000 US dollars. However you can get them as low as 5,000 US dollars for the fabric covered ones rather than the fiberglass ones. The fiberglass ones are going to set you back for around about 10,000 to 20,000 US dollars. Another great thing about gliding is most of them have detachable wings which means you can load them on a trailer and store them at home negating the need for hangerage or tie down costs. For safety gliders are actually pretty safe don't let the fact that they don't have a, an engine fool you. They actually have the most reliable engine of all. 
gravity. You do get one attempt at landing each time, but you won't get any nasty surprises like engine outs or cockpit fires. And on landing, you'll come in with extra altitude to ensure that you don't miscalculate and can make it into the strip. And then you'll pull the air brakes to efficiently bin off altitude so you know you can make it in. You'll get a real sense for how long you can glide for and you'll get good at something called dead reckoning. You'll also get really good at judging weather systems. So this weather system knowledge and dead reckoning skills are absolutely amazing for any pilot to have. And if you start off on gliding, it will serve you really, really well in the future if you consider taking up powered flight. It's always really good to have a really good knowledge about weather systems when you are flying. One of the things to watch out for is something called cartwheeling. So on takeoff and possibly landing as well, what that is is when one of the really long wings, if a wing tip on one of those really long wings touches the ground and digs in, it's going to flip the glider around. And that's a really bad news because it's going to slam the front of the glider into the ground, which is where the pilot is. Also, if a tow rope or winch snaps on takeoff, you're going to have a really quick decision on where to land. Of course, you don't have your own power. Feel free to tell me and the viewers what your thoughts are on the safety of sailplanes in the comments below. Also, if you are a glider pilot, use those comments to share your experiences. It would be great to read stories from sailplane pilots and you can help to promote your sport. Okay, the next video will be on microlights, also known as light sport aircraft in the USA, 600 kilograms or less. I started with gliding and I made my jump to microlighting to start my powered flight journey. I like the idea of being able to turn up and fly without the reliance on others because at that time in my life, I was too busy working on the weekends and I could only afford the afternoons. With gliding, I was there from morning to evening helping out. So if you want an affordable way to get into powered flight, see my video here or check out the link in the description.